Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. Today, I thought I'd show you um, another one of my experimental sessions um, that I do in the studio when I just want to play around with colours and ideas. I've sketched out a sort of zigzag scene for um, a winter hill with winter trees, and I'm just going to play around with paint and see what happens. I'm wetting the sky, I'm going to wet parts of the land, and then just see if I can get a sort of a wintry, impressionistic, snowy sort of feel to this scene um, with a kind of golden light that I'm going to uh, create by painting the sky with raw sienna and a bit of burnt sienna. I'm using Saunders Waterford cold pressed watercolour paper. It's 140 pounds weight. Uh, that's 300 GSM. It's taped to my board with ordinary decorators masking tape. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cough at the moment. And uh, my board's at an angle of about 30 degrees. Um, I don't pre-stretch my paper. I just paint straight onto it. And you'll see it start to buckle a bit, but when it dries, it always dries flat. So I'm using my Princeton Aquarelite Mottler brush, which is a nice large flat wash brush with synthetic hairs. And I've painted in the sky, as I said, with um, raw sienna and burnt sienna, just a nice mid value mix to keep a nice glow in the sky and painting wet in wet into the wash that I've brought down across the hillside to get some colour into the hill with now with um, lavender. This is uh, my own homemade lavender blue paint that I make myself, uh, but you can buy lavender. I think Holbein do a nice one. Now I'm going to drop these um, winter shadowy tree shapes into the wet paint using Payne's Grey, Burnt Umber, a little bit of indigo, but mostly Payne's Grey and Burnt Umber, still working with my large wash brush, turning the brush so that I use the corners of the brush and the tips to get these sort of shapes and allowing the tree shapes just to blend wet in wet with the background. These should all just soften back and diffuse, but I'm just looking for that really impressionistic look of the deep shadows that you get on a sort of a wintry afternoon. The lavender blue gives me that nice hint of snow across the sky, uh, the, sorry, the land. And of course, by bringing the sky colour down into the land, um, we've got that reflected light in the snow too. So I highly recommend experimenting in this sort of way, but using your own ideas, your own colours. Um, don't try to produce a finished painting necessarily. Just see what the paint, the paper and the water and the angle, um, in other words, gravity, just see what it'll do for you. See what different brushes and mixtures of paint will do, how they soften and blend, um, how one colour works well against another, how you can get really good tonal value contrast of dark against light. Um, the grey, greyish uh, blue lavender works really well with this orangey yellow because they complement each other and stand out well. This is a palette knife, which I'm running through the wet paper, dragging the paint around, plus scraping it away as well, just to link the canopies and the land with trunks and branches for the trees. As I say, I'm not too worried about this. I'm just experimenting. I think I've got it too dark in places, not dark enough in others, but I'm quite happy with this as an experiment. I mean, I can see things that I like about it, things that I can take further in other paintings. So just using the palette knife to drag through the paint to create my zigzag pathway. So that's it for the wet in wet stage. I'm now gonna leave it to dry completely. So now that it's dry and um, I like the way it looks, it's just a matter of linking um, the hillside to the trees and the canopies with some trunks and branches using the rigger brush.
So I think that's just about it. I'm just adding a little fence, edging the pathway um, with the fence. And so that sort of zigzag leads us through the composition. And as far as experiments go, I'm reasonably pleased with this. Um, I kind of have done what I wanted to do, which was create a, a winter scene and got the light from this sort of yellowish golden sky reflecting in the snow and complemented that with the lavender. And that's what I was looking to do. Uh, the trees, I think, are too dark in places, um, although I do like some of them and the shapes, I think, are really nice. I like the shape of the sort of pine tree up top left, so I'm really pleased with that. And so I learned a lot from doing this painting and I shall be able to take that forward um, in future paintings. And that's what an experimental session in the studio like this is all about. It's not about producing a finished painting. It's about experimenting and playing with paint, seeing what happens and um, trying to sort of learn a little bit more. And above all, having lots of fun. So I hope you enjoyed um, that sharing that studio time with me where I've been experimenting. Let me know what you think in the comments and let me know if you experiment in sort of similar ways yourself without trying to produce paintings. It'd be really interesting to read some of your comments. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And welcome to all the new people um, that are supporting us on Patreon. Thank you so much. And if you want to support Morgana or I, the links are in the description below. See you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye.